you wrote this movie. I did. You win this very prestigious uh, award for it, and it's a kind of a cool idea. It's a little bit based on the life of a real uh, person. Don a LaFontaine. Don uh, LaFontaine, who was that iconic guy who did all the movie voiceovers for trailers. Yes, that's, that's why it's called In a World. He was the one that actually yeah. came up with, did, did he, you know, In a World. Yeah, and then, very good. Yeah, um, yeah. He, he actually, he was, he was a writer. He just wrote copy for movie trailers and then threw himself in there when he, when he came up with In a World. Mm -hmm. He got in the booth and then all of a sudden the world changed. The universe was opened up to the voice of God. Well, it, it, it worked for him. He sort of dominated that industry. Yeah. And, and, and you've sort of created a, a, a this, this is about, this movie is really about voiceover, people that are trying to be in that world, yes. some who are very successful and some who are trying to get into it. Yeah, I mean, I, I have always been obsessed with voiceover. I, I went to drama school in England and we, you know, where radio plays are still relevant and I had this demo. I came to LA thinking I was gonna be one of the great voiceover artists. I'm not gonna become a waitress. I'm just gonna go straight to the big time. I'm gonna make a bunch of money being a voiceover, in, you know, being in the voiceover world. I got in there and I was like, what am I, crazy? I mean, you, you, this is someone else's industry. You can't roll in and conquer it. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a click, there's a hierarchy, there's a whole set of cacophonous kick characters, and, and so I became a waitress. Well, you know, what's interesting is that uh, <laughs> you said you're, you're passionate about voice work. It's something you've always been interested in. And you have a, a bone to pick with the way women speak today. Is that right? I do. Or some women. Some yeah. women. Not everyone. But I don't want to get on my soapbox here, but I'm going to get on my soapbox. Um, there is a pandemic that is rampant in this country, and it's the sexy baby vocal virus. <laughs> it's girls who talk like that and adopt that, it, but it's not their fault. You mean like fault. Grown, grown women grown that talk Grown women, that. and yeah. it's, they're victimized, they have fallen prey to something. <laughs> yeah. And it's two things, right? So it's pitch, right? It's, so it's talking really high, and then it's also the affectation, which is the fry and up talking. <laughs> so, we're back to Bill Hader's wife. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I don't want to name him. That's not how she talks. Mm -hmm. No. But, it, but it's, but and and you see a lot of that happening, right? It's just it, it, everywhere. It's like, it's a big thing in reality television. Well, yeah, that's see, I think that's the culprit. I think it sort of started there. I mean, I don't want to name names, you know, but but it sort of started somewhere and then blossomed and now is just festering. Not blossomed. It festered. It's festering through this great nation, and it could be our demise. <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> what a lovely thought. Uh, 